We're there for you. ABC 4 News at 6 starts now. And good evening, I'm Emily Flores. And I'm Glenn Mills. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Millions of Americans now eligible to receive a third COVID-19 booster shot. And new data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention finds no unexpected patterns of adverse reaction. ABC 4's Haley Hendricks on the story for us today. She's live in Salt Lake City with the latest. Haley. Well, Glenn, people are reporting their third dose symptoms to the CDC, and many of these people sim and many of these symptoms, people say, are similar to what they experienced after getting the second shot. A third jab to the arm is meant to boost immunity for those at high risk of contracting COVID-19. With the Delta variant being a lot more contagious, um, you have to have a vaccine that has a higher efficacy because of the way it will spread. Pfizer's coronavirus booster shot has been approved for people who are older than 65, over 18 and have a pre-existing condition or have a job or living situation that poses a high risk. While booster shots are being recommended to some, University of Utah Health's Dr. Sankar Swaminathan says it's important for a person to know their risk of exposure and risk of infection. The one is how likely are you to get it at work? or going about, you know, your daily life. The second is, if you do get infected, how dangerous is it for you? In new data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, people who got an additional dose at least six months after vaccination report they were experiencing symptoms similar to what they felt after getting the second shot, which they say is pain at the injection site, fatigue, and a headache. The CDC is studying Moderna and Johnson & Johnson booster shots, and early data shows similar vaccine side effects. Right now, it's not known when an additional dose will be available. There is no data that, that, that shows the importance of a booster shot for them right now. Utah Department of Health Immunization Director Rich Lakin says people should not mix and match vaccines. While the booster shot is being recommended to boost immunity, Lakin says being fully vaccinated is better than not. We stress that you need to get, if you have not been vaccinated, get your first one. If you've gotten your first one, get your second one. Well, since the FDA and CDC approved this third shot just last month, national health officials say roughly 2.8 million Americans have received that booster shot. Reporting live in Salt Lake County, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News. Thank you, Haley. New developments tonight on that.